Hello there SpyBot users and welcome back to the Safer Networking YouTube channel. My name is Rob from Team SpyBot and I'm here today to give you a demonstration of the new version of SpyBot Anti-Beacon. Let's get started with today's tutorial. SpyBot Anti-Beacon is used to prevent telemetry data from being sent to Microsoft. We believe that users should be able to decide on which information they would like to be sent to Microsoft and Anti-Beacon allows you to do this. We recommend SpyBot Anti-Beacon for users of Windows 7, Windows 8 and 8.1 and Windows 10. The first step in today's tutorial is to open SpyBot Anti-Beacon. To do this, double click on the SpyBot Anti-Beacon desktop icon, then select Yes when prompted by the user account control. Once Anti-Beacon launches, we are presented with the Anti-Beacon interface. In the centre is the progress wheel. This will show you the progress of the current or last immunisation. Beneath the progress wheel it lists a number of block telemetry items. This shows how many items out of the total number of selected items have been protected during immunisation and after it is finished running. Anti-Beacon gives you the option to customise which immunisers you are going to use and allows you to decide on which information should or should not be sent to Microsoft. You can view the available immunisers by clicking on the customise button. In Windows 10 Anti-Beacon gives 24 immunizer options. These include telemetry hosts, OneDrive group policy, the recently added red shell to protect gamers, and many more. Beside each immunizer it lists how many items belong to that particular immunizer. There are three predefined settings that you can use with Anti-Beacon. First there is the minimal setting which immunizes against the most important forms of telemetry and prevents them from being sent to Microsoft. The immunizers that are included with each setting will be shown as blocked, while the other immunizers that are not included will be shown as permitted. The next setting is recommended. This includes recommended settings from Safer Networking as well as the minimal settings. The full option allows you to block all of the telemetry data that is possible with Anti-Beacon. This will prevent any telemetry data from being sent to Microsoft. We are going to select the full option, then press Done. This will return us to the main window and immunization will begin. We now see that immunization has been performed. The progress wheel shows that immunization was successful. The inner blue line represents the number of protected items in relation to the total number of items that can be immunized. If you would like to change the level of protection, you can click on the Customize button again and select a different protection setting, then press Done to apply these changes. If something has been blocked which you did not want which could be preventing a certain application from working that you would like to use, for example OneDrive, you can return to the Customize screen and undo the option for OneDrive. If you would like to undo all of the changes made by Anti-Beacon, you can click on the Customize button again, then click on None to undo Anti-Beacon's immunization. You can now decide on which level of protection to use or what items to include in a custom selection for immunization using SpyBot Anti-Beacon. Don't forget to reapply immunization after every Windows update and to regularly check for updates to the SpyBot Anti-Beacon program on our website. So that's it for today's video on using the new version of SpyBot Anti-Beacon. I'd like to thank you all for watching and hope that you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. If you have any comments or queries, please get in touch by sending an email to teamspybot at spybot.info or by using the request support page in the support center on our website. I've been Rob from Team Spybot. Thanks again for watching. Stay safe. Keep on searching. Keep on destroying. See you guys soon.